Welcome to the Mountain View College Library. This instructional video is designed to help familiarize you with the college library, its layout, and many services to make your college learning experience much more effective and enjoyable. The library is located on the West Campus, room W163, and is comprised of two floors. When you first enter on the ground floor, you'll see a stairway in the middle of the main area and the circulation desk immediately to your left. Like all libraries, the circulation desk is where you check out books and other materials. Course reserve materials are available here for two-hour periods. Remember, and this is important, to check out books, you will need a current student ID. You can also see a map of the Mountain View College Library at the circulation desk. Continuing on the ground floor, just past the circulation desk and to the left, is the reference or help desk. Librarians are on duty here to help answer any and all questions you may have during your visit and to assist you in any way they can. Directly across from the help desk is the copy print room. Here you can easily create an account or add value to an existing one. Copies are 10 cents a page and only $1 bills can be used. No change can be made, so plan ahead. The copiers will copy front and back. Instructions are openly displayed to further assist you, as well as our library staff. To start, go to the Add Value machine and follow the instructions to set up an account and then add funds to it. When you wish to copy something on the copy machines, you will see Username and Password. In these two fields, you're going to enter, as the username, your student ID number. For password, enter your four-digit PIN that you just created at the Add Value Station. This may seem a little confusing at first, so feel free to ask for help at any time. Further on past the help desk is the Open Computer Lab. You can print online materials directly from these computers, in black and white only, and two printers are in the lab for this purpose. Instructions are on display, and as always, you can ask for help from the library staff. Remember this. Whether copying off of a copier or printing from the computers, your student ID number and four-digit PIN that you originally created is what you always enter. It doesn't matter if it's called an account number or username. Student ID number and four-digit PIN is what you always will enter. In this area of the library, you will also find individual and group study rooms with instructions on use and how to reserve rooms through the librarians. The library tech classroom, which only faculty can request. And finally, reference materials. You are free to use these materials while in the library. However, they are not available for checkout. Let's return now to the entrance of the library and the central stairwell. Around this area is the main portion of the library collection, books A through PM. Periodicals and magazines, as well as the McNaughton collection, can be found here. An elevator to the second floor is also conveniently located near the periodicals. Continuing on, you'll find a quiet area and more group study rooms, as well as staff offices. Upstairs in the library, the collection continues with books PN through Z. Additional study areas are also available. In most study areas, you should be able to find plenty of power for computers and electronics if you need it. You'll notice that all over the library, there are rules and instructions posted. This might be a good time to review a few, most of which you are already more than likely familiar with. Remember to be quiet in the library. This, of course, is the most well-known mode of conduct about all libraries, and Mountain View College is no different. Please don't try to reshelve books. Leave them on the tables, in your study areas, or place them in the special bins. We will be happy to reshelve for you. No food or drink, please, although we will allow drinks in containers with screw-top lids. Now let's go into depth concerning how to look up books and other library materials while in the library or when you're online from a remote location. First, go to the Mountain View College website, www.mountainviewcollege.edu. Click on Library. 
Once you're at our page, you'll see a lot of useful information to look over, such as contact numbers, hours of operation, requesting interlibrary loans, and so forth. Logging in is easy. Your first and last name are needed, as well as your student ID number, without adding the small e. Once logged in, you'll see what books are currently checked out in your name, if any, with the status, barcodes, and call numbers. To search the library catalog, click on it. This is also known as the Encore Library Catalog, and it will display as such. Here you'll see the basic search bar, and as an example, we'll enter Organic Gardening. Many results appear, but you can further narrow the search to say, Books Only. This particular example shows the book at Richland College and that it is currently checked out. You could request it at this point and put a hold on it. When available, it would be sent to the Mountain View College campus and you would get an email informing you to pick it up. Here, we narrow the results even more by limiting the search to only those books that appear on the Mountain View College campus. A student can then look over the descriptions of the choices that appear. They can read reviews or they can check the table of contents and so forth. This is the call number of the book in question. It shows that it is in the main collection at Mountain View. It is not a reserve item or a reference book, so it can be checked out normally. With this number, you can find the book yourself or use the Add to Cart function. This is, of course, repeatable for many other choices. Then click on My Cart in the upper right-hand corner. The brief or full displays appear on all your book choices, with full showing all individual call numbers. You can also remove items from your cart at this point. Your list of books can now be jotted down, printed, emailed to yourself, or sent to your smartphone for use in locating the books. As always, you can show your list to a librarian to help you. The search engine also shows the user related search info and recently added books to further present you with more options that may be helpful to you. Advanced Search is also a great tool. You can enter a specific author, subject, title, or keyword as shown in this example. This displays a book that is currently checked out, but you can still request it placing a hold on the book. Once it's been returned, you will be notified by email. If the book is being sent from another campus, this process can take three or more business days. You also have the option of choosing another campus library that you would prefer to pick up your selection from. Then click Submit and see if the request has been successful. Returning to Your Record, you'll see the items that you've been checking out or placing on hold. As before, you can change your mind, removing selections if need be. Here, we see two items already on loan, and both are overdue. But don't worry, you can renew overdue items with just a click. A quick word about overdue items. There are no library fines any longer. However, unreturned items can result in a block being placed on your student transcripts or delays in registering for future classes. What if you're working within eCampus and you want to access the library pages without logging in and logging out? Simple. The DCCCD Libraries module in eCampus, shown here, will take you directly to the same library pages as we've been demonstrating. You can also search for articles, cite your sources, use Noodle Tools, InfoLab, and ask a librarian. This latter function is the perfect answer when you may be having trouble with research. Simply go to the Mountain View link, fill out the forms with your questions and issues, and submit. You should hear back from a librarian within one business day. Back at the Mountain View College Library website, you can also access online databases to find articles from newspapers, periodicals, and journals. 
There are over 157 databases and even more within each of these. Depending on what it is you're looking for, the various tools and menus here allow you to narrow your searches or examine your various search results within a very extensive database. In this example, a chosen PDF file is opened. You can now print this article or email it to yourself with the citation formats of your choosing or simply cite the article using copy-paste into your document. Now this is important. This URL cannot be used to return to this page later on because of an embedded session manager. To return to these specific pages, you will need to click on the permalink function and copy-paste that address to share with yourself or others. Furthermore, that link won't work unless you're logged in with the usual name and student ID. This keeps the databases restricted to enrolled students only. Might we also recommend that you check out Access 360, The Magic Wall. These are ebooks and audiobooks that you can download to your iPads or other suitable electronic devices to read or listen to. All the instructions for using The Magic Wall are there to get you started. Remember, when you're done, be sure to log out. This is extremely important if you're on a public computer. There's a lot to remember here, and we realize that one video can't possibly cover it all. So, we recommend visiting the library in person and getting some one-on-one -on -one assistance. Well, that should be enough to get you started. We believe that getting around the Mountain View College Library will be second nature to you in no time. Never forget that the library staff is always on hand to assist you with any problems or questions. Student success is and has always been our top priority. So, enjoy your time in the library, and again, welcome.